welcome to lecture 25. Uh, so, in this uh, week, uh, we will be interfacing uh, various uh, sensors with STM mode. So, in this particular lecture, uh, we will be interfacing LM35 temperature sensor. LM stand for linear monolithic. We will look into the properties of this LM35 temperature sensor and then we will look into the circuit diagram followed by the code that is used to interface this particular device with STM board and then we will show you the demonstration of this experiment. Okay? Let us move on. So, these are the few things that we will be doing. We will interface LM35 to STM32 board. We will also show you how can we calibrate uh, because for any sensor to work, we will see that some kind of calibration is required. That we will show and of course, the program code and the demonstration. So, what is temperature sensing? Temperature is a physical parameter we all know. Sensing temperature has various applications. What are those applications? It measures the temperature of body. It is also used in sophisticated industrial appliances. It is used in chemical plants where it is needed to monitor the temperature and depending on that temperature certain devices may be required to be made on or off. Of course, weather forecast is one of the application. If you think of uh, how do we measure temperature, thermometer is the most widely used instrument for temperature sensing. So, it is a mercury, a mercury thermometer does not produce signals on temperature change. Instead, it changes its property like it can expand or it can contract. This is how a mercury thermometer works. On the other hand, a digital thermometer displays the temperature on a tiny LCD. We have also already seen what is an LCD. So, a digital thermometer you can actually see the temperature which is displayed in a tiny LCD. LM35 temperature sensor, linear monolithic temperature sensor. Uh, this is an integrated circuit basically uh, which was developed by National Semiconductor. This is a precision integrated circuit temperature device with an output voltage linearly proportional to the temperature in degree Celsius or Fahrenheit. Okay. So, what does it mean? It means that the output voltage is linearly proportional, it is linear and it is not non-linear. It is linearly proportional to the temperature in deg degree Celsius. Okay. If you think of uh, this linear characteristics, the linear characteristics is like with 10 millivolt change, there is a degree Celsius change in output of the temperature. So, with every 10 millivolt, whenever there is a 10 millivolt change, then correspondingly there will be a change in degree centigrade of the output. So, the it full scale of range of this uh, LM35 is minus 55 degree centigrade to 150 degree centigrade. Okay? This is the full range. So, if you have temperature uh, in between minus 55 to plus 150 degree centigrade, then this particular temperature sensor will be able to 
take that into consideration. So, how do we use this LM35? So, this is basically LM35, there is a flat end and then there is a round end, half round end this way. This pin, pin number 1 is basically this one is the voltage pin. This one is the, it should be connected to PCC basically, the number 1 pin. Number 3 must be connected to ground and from where we will get the output voltage, the output voltage will be available from pin number 2, this is the output voltage. So, this particular pin must be connected with the analog port. This will generate a voltage and internally that voltage will be converted to some digital value. Okay. So, this is how this connection is. So, one is should be connected to BCC this one must be connected to ground and from this middle point it will be connected to the output uh, that is must be connected to the analog port. Uh, now, uh, what needs to be done uh, like how do we use it? First, we need to connect say uh, plus 5 volt to the pin uh, 1 and ground to pin 3 and we can connect pin 2 that is the middle one to one of the analog pin of the microcontroller. How do we read the analog value? Till now we have seen that how we will output a digital value or we can input a digital value. Okay? Now we will see that how can we read an analog value. So, for reading an analog value uh, of course, firstly we need to connect uh, LM35 to ground and to BCC and the middle terminal will produce a voltage proportional to the temperature. The code that is used, the embed C code that is used is first same way you have to include, uh, first you have to include this header file. Then we have to initialize a pin, analog pin as an input analog pin. So, analog in, this is the name of the pin that we will be using that is sensor and which pin of the board? A1 pin of the board is considered as the analog pin here. We take a float variable because it will uh, get a value ranging from 0 to 1. So, P we will read the sensor value. So, the function that is used sensor is the name of the port A1, uh, this is the value which we will be using. So, sensor dot read will read the value which is through this port A1 connected to this port A1 and you can print it using PC dot printf the value is percentage f p. So, these are the few lines of code that are required to read the sensor value from the analog port A1. There are other analog ports as well like A0, A2, A3, A4 and A5. Okay. In this case, we are connecting to A1. Now, the calibration, how do we do this calibration? See, current, let us say the current temperature of the room is x. For that current temperature, what value you are getting? Okay. If we know that, that now the temperature is, let us say 20 degree centigrade, I am getting certain value in my analog output. Then, if the temperature is x then what will if if i am getting x value what will be the temperature so we can do this calibration this is one way of doing it 
let us let us see uh, how the calibration we have done in this particular code lm35 output voltage as i have already mentioned increases linearly with increase in temperature so when there is a 10 millivolt increase for every degree centigrade rise in temperature so k degree centigrade the output voltage will be 10 multiplied by k millivolt if maximum temperature is let us say 50 degree centigrade and the maximum output voltage will be 0 0.5 volt let us say then this 10 must be multiplied with 50 so 500 will get the value now how do we compute the temperature in degree centigrade let us see this the read function uh, in that analog in class returns a fraction between 0 and 1 i have already told this let us say we can apply a voltage 0 0.5 volt directly to the analog input pin the analog input pin where we were connecting earlier the sensor output value I am connecting directly to uh, a 0 0.5 volt directly to that pin and then we measure the value printed by the program suppose the value which is printed is p max ok if that is so that means what we are saying the output voltage that is 0 0.5 volt for 0 0.5 volt the value we are getting is p max that for an unknown temperature if the value printed is p then the temperature value can be calculated as how t will be calculated 50 divided by p max into that p so basically the thing is that uh, if uh, the it is uh, basically uh, 50 degree centigrade okay then the value which is printed is uh, basically p max if it is 1 degree centigrade the value printed will be like uh, okay so let us uh, take uh, the opposite one basically mm. if the value is uh, p max then it is 50 so that means we are getting a value p max for this 50 degree centigrade so if that is so for 1 will be getting 50 divided by p max and if it is p then we will be getting 50 divided by p max multiplied by p for this particular scenario ok. But the one that we have used in the program is little different. So, let me show that the alternate way of computing that we have used is suppose the room temperature I know it is 20 degree centigrade ok we will see that what value we are getting from that voltage output. Suppose the room temperature is 20 degree centigrade. We have already discussed about cool term. So, cool term will uh, basically run and suppose we find the value as 0 0.06. So, basically if it is 0 .0, 0, 0.6 0 0.06 then the temperature is 20 degree centigrade ok. If the value is let us say 1 then it will be 20 degree centigrade divided by 0 0.06 and if we receive the value p then it will be 20 degree centigrade divided by 0 0.06 multiplied by p that is what we are doing here 20 divided by 0 0.06 multiplied by p ok and we have done the same thing in our uh, code. So, you have we have earlier calculated this using the current temperature of the room that we were getting at that particular time. Okay. So, 
let us look into the experiment. Now, I have uh, discussed about uh, LM35. How do we connect LM35 with STM and how do we read an analog value from certain port and also how do we calibrate. Now, we will design a temperature sensing unit using STM Nucleo F401 RE kit and LM35 temperature sensor to sense the environmental temperature and display it in the centigrade scale on a LCD display unit. So, the analog output voltage from LM35 is connected to pin A1 of the, of the STM board which is of course, the Arduino connector. Okay. Let us now look into the circuit diagram. So, if you recall this part of the circuit diagram you already know. Okay. So, what we are doing? We are basically connecting from D 8 to D 13 to various pins of the LCD display. What we are going here to do is that we are connecting this LM35. BCC is connected to BCC, ground is connected to ground and out is directly connected to pin A1 of the STM. Okay. This is all about the connection and this part of the connection we already discussed earlier. Okay. So, it will sense the temperature do the calibration and display the temperature in this LCD. We will be demonstrating this example. Before that, I will be showing you the code that is required to be executed after doing this circuit di diagram. So, this is the uh, embed uh, program code. Similarly, for LCD, we know that we have to use uh, this text scroll and text LCD. So, text scroll it is connected to these pins. Uh, we use uh, here serial PC USB TX RX. This is for the serial communication that we do and such that we can display it in the any of the hyper terminal which we have already discussed that is one of them are is cool term. This is the analog input value in the name of sensor we are reading through port A 1 and this is after calibration we get a value like this that is value is 297. We take a character buffer here and uh, LCD we are setting the line at 0th uh, line temperature in degree centigrade and in the while loop we are reading the value first using sensor dot read and then we are calculating the value that is p multiplied by the val p is whatever we have got which we are multiplying with this value 297 and we are storing it in this buffer and finally we are displaying it in the next line lcd dot set line 1 with this buffer we are waiting for one second and again we are doing the same thing repeatedly. Okay. We can do either of the thing, we can wait for one second or even we can wait for two minutes. So, in the program you have just wait, uh, uh, done the wait for one second here. So, this is all about the embed programming code. Okay, so, now that I have already discussed the whole code, uh, how do we interface it and how do we display it? Now, we will be showing you uh, the experiment, the demonstration of this particular code, where we will be interfacing this LM35 with STM and we will display the temperature in the LCD. Okay? Let us see that. Okay. So, um, we already discussed about LM35, I already discussed about the temperature sensing experiment that we can do. Uh, so, now I will be uh, doing that experiment with LM35 
And what I will be doing in this experiment is that for now I will be connecting LM35 with ST microelectronics board and then I will be displaying the current temperature. Okay? So, what is the current temperature of this room probably? So, let me tell you the temperature out here, the recording is taking place in Shillong. So, the temperature is uh, quite low here. So, the outside temperature currently is 17 degree. So, let us see what is coming here in our sensing unit. Okay? Okay. So, this is the temperature sensor. This temperature sensor is LM35 temperature sensor. Now, you see the flat end of this. Okay. So, the flat end of this, the left pin to this flat end should be connected to 5 volt VCC. The right end of this LM35 will be connected to ground and from the middle position it will be connected to the analog port. Okay. Now, we already know how many analog ports are there in STM that we already discussed. We will be connecting this out of LM35 to one of the analog port. We have already discussed that this analog port internally it is connected to a AD converter. So, the value which we will be getting from this pin basically the voltage will get converted into some digital value. We have also shown you how we can see that digital value. You can see the digital value using any of uh, the serial uh, communication thing that is cool term or teratum. There are various others and in Arduino you can directly see it through serial monitor. Okay. So, now I will be doing the connection okay. and in doing so what I will do basically is that I will be displaying the uh, temperature in the LCD. Okay. You can also display the temperature in 7 segment, but let me uh, discuss that with LCD. So, this is LM35, you can see this is the flat end, okay. this is the flat end, you can see that okay. this is the flat end and this is the little bit round end. Okay. So, I connect this here, the left side of this will be connected to BCC. Okay. This is my connection with LCD which is already there with me. So, this particular pin will be connected to BCC which is the this one. And then I will be connecting this pin that is to ground So, I have connected this pin to BCC and this pin to ground and from this out the middle one from where this output voltage will come I will be connecting it to A1. Okay? So, we have pins A0, A1, A2, A3, A4 and A5. So, I will be connecting with A1. 1. So, just see the connection. The connection is straightforward. If you see 
that uh, this LCD we already showed you how you will be connecting that is already there. Only I have connected this LM35. So, one po there are three pins of LM35. One pin is connected to BCC. The other pin is connected to ground and from the middle point it is connected to the analog input. So, these are the three things that you must know and you must understand. So, this is how we have made the connection. Okay. I have already shown you the code that you have to dump into this board for displaying the current temperature. So, we have already done the calibration and as you already know that uh, in this particular sensor that is LM35, 10 millivolt change in voltage will be equivalent to 1 degree change in temperature. So, uh, we have done the calibration accordingly and now I will be dumping the code which will display the current temperature of this particular room. Okay? So, let me connect it. Okay. So, the temperature what it is showing, you can see this. The temperature in degree centigrade is eighteen point two zero, nineteen point four zero. So it is little bit fluctuating, you can see with respect to that. Okay. So let me increase the temperature a bit and see what value it comes. Okay. So let me do that. It increased, you can see that it has become 21.60. So, if you can even rub this particular sensor a bit, so the value actually changes, okay? Or you can just blow a little bit in front of it to see the change in temperature. So, it has increased again. So, this is a simple experiment with uh, LM35 where it is reading the temperature and it is displaying the temperature. Okay. Okay. You can see that the connection with LM35 is fairly straightforward and fairly simple. Uh, the thing is only that sensor to sensor things varies. Okay. So, the point is you need this calibration. The calibration step is really very important. So, in this calibration step what you need to see is that you need to read the current value of the sensor, what it is giving. And you can see that in cool term. And then with respect to that value, what is the current temperature of this particular room? Okay? So, that particular thing you have to first check and accordingly you can change that in your code to incorporate this particular scenario. Okay? So, this is a very straightforward thing where we are displaying temperature in this particular uh, display unit that is LCD. But sensing temperature has got variety of application. Okay. Let us say if the temperature is beyond certain temperature, uh, be beyond certain degree, uh, we will switch on uh, the AC. Okay. Or if the temperature is uh, below certain degree, I will switch on the heater. Okay. So, these can also be incorporated in a, uh, in a system. Okay. So, there are various other application of this LM35. Uh, we have shown you one thing, 
which you can incorporate and do it for other experiments. Thank you.